Previously on Let's Play Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Hello! My name is Manx, and I welcome you guys uh, back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon! It's time, to, it's time to take on some wooden horses! Look at that! This map was actually cut from the remake in Fire Emblem 3, and then brought back for Shadow Dragon. So it sucks. Now, <laughs> it really is. And, and like in Fire Emblem 1, where Ballisticians actually was 1-2 range weapons, Take this, elephants. Take this, elephant. We're gonna have to go to elephants. This is not gonna be good. The Arcanian heroes hurried to Altia, but they would not go unchallenged. Waiting for them at Fort Menity were Griss artillery regiments, the dreaded wooden cavalry. Missiles crashed down, rocking the earth as enemy ballista rumbled forward. Had Marth and the League any hope of triumphing over such firepower? Find out in the next episode. <laughs> 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 Boom. Okay, so uh, there's a number How'd of you things. Do that? Oh I don't God. this time skip uh, power. So there's wow. there's a couple of things that we need to do. So this map is really tricky. Here's here's the guy. They they re they renamed the elephant to Pakidur. Was not the same ring to it. <laughs> Take this <laughs> elephant. <laughs> Take this Pakidur. <laughs> no, it just doesn't sound as good. Grigas. Anyway, uh, so there's a bunch of. Ballisticians here. That really sucks. Oh, hi there. Who's this? Who's this, who's this he has handsome? a face. He must be a good guy. He must be. A, yeah. He even comes with the worm slayers. That's good. We definitely want him. So yeah, a bunch of ballisticians. This I map do. is. If you want the worm slayer, you can just kill him. That that's true. Actually, he, do he does drop it. There's a bunch of really annoying uh, ballisticians here. Actually, there's not that many of them. This map actually doesn't feature all that many enemies. But I possibly might use my warp staff just to get closer to them. Uh, my, I don't, I'm not really sure, but they don't really do all that much damage. Uh, but together, they can really pick mm -hmm. off your units one by one. So what we can also do is we can just send in set guard until they run out of ammo. That's also... <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Where am I? I don't know. We all know that's going to end up, end up happening. Probably. So what we need to do is we need to reclass, because our flyers are going to be useless here. So we want Sheeta to be a paladin. Uh, will this screw up her rankings? No, it will not. I mean, no ranking change in this game is permanent. If you go back, you still have what you had. Right, so right, fine. right, right. And then we want Minerva to... Actually, there's a limit on how many... Actually, we can have one more Paladin, so this is fine. So we'll make Minerva yeah. a Paladin, and we'll make... You can also reclass someone you're not deploying into something else. Oh, have right. more Paladin slots. You can reclass Kane, for example. I think you're not deploying him. Oh, okay. Fine. Uh, you think so? <laughs> we gave you that idea. Uh, and Paladin Jagan? Back, back oh, in no, action. Paladin Jagan was an original and novel <laughs> idea. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, so what we need to do now is we need to figure out what to forge, if anything. So do you have any ideas on potential forges, Mr. Mecha? Uh, 
as I definitely didn't say off screen. I think Forge Javelin would be nice to have for some strong 1 2 range, especially now that Merrick is basically incapacitated by not being able to use Excalibur until it breaks. Right, right. And yeah. you can also do like Aerospace or uh, whatever. What else is there even? Like I... a strong Iron Man can sometimes be good. I, I I like the idea about the javelin. I think I think that's definitely uh, I think I think that's uh, that's what we want to do. So we got selling spree. Wait, you have to bully on the idiot. I yeah yeah I have. That's why. But I have why, to. Why did you start selling swords? I did. I didn't. I didn't. That was just uh, a totally. mis that was a misclick. Anyway, we got to give out right. these. Uh, we got to give out these stat boosters so we can. Or you can sell them for more forges. <laughs> that is not a bad idea actually. <laughs> So, I think the energy drop is probably too good to sell, though. Yeah, it's too good. Anyway, let's force this javelin. So, how far shall we go? I mean, most important thing is to put hit on it, right? Because uh, last chapter was like, please hit, please hit, please hit. So, yeah. 10 hit should be good. All right. 10 hit, 3 to 4 might maybe. I mean, it's never going to one-shot anything. It's more about just having more options with its damage. Plus 6 is a bit much, I think. Yeah. You might right. want to forge something that's chapter two, so don't just blow go blowing all your gold at once. You never get pocket money from your parents. They never tell you not to spend all your shit at once. I was really bad at money. <laughs> Always have been, to be to be completely <laughs> honest. I'm 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 a bit of a you know, emotional spender, you know what I mean? Just... Keep this in mind next time you click a map. Thanks that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why not? It's a waste of money. Okay. Like it's like like two thousand gold for a bunch of crit. All right. For a bit fine. of crit, that's not even gonna help you. All right. See, I told you this guy's bad at money. All right, there we go. That's that's how we're what? gonna do it. Wow. So much gold. It's just eight thousand. It's nothing. All right. <laughs> so. But they want you to think. <laughs> it's a gotcha trap. <laughs> this is a. Good... <laughs> it's a gotcha forge. And just like that, a name is born. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how gotcha. Do I... I mean, that's a pretty catchy name for a forge. So it is. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Did you just you... put a B? I'm trying. I'm really bad at typing. Got... <laughs> what are you not bad at? <laughs> spending money. <laughs> okay. It's a spending race, I'm sure. What the hell? Gotcha. Trap. Oh, I see. I or prefer just... just gotcha, to be honest. Yeah, gotcha actually works. All right. Gotcha. 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 There we go. Every time we hit, we can say gotcha. Okay, cool. I don't know who should get the gotcha. Who should gotcha gotcha? <laughs> I'll catch it. <laughs> gotcha's gotcha. Gotcha gotcha. That one has double. Uh, she so, oh, Nerfa's pretty fast. All right, we gave this there the speed wing. That's right. Yeah. So here we go. Gotcha. I don't need the dragon pike. Uh, don't even actually don't even need the glue factor to be completely honest. Don't need the axis eater. Nope. Minerva has like 10 axes that she can't use anymore now. Yeah, this is true. I guess you can just give the Hood Claire to Barsts. He might actually be able to do <laughs> something with it. Oh. Uh, speaking of Barsts, we've decided to promote him. So that's what uh -huh. we're going to do. I told him to promote Gordon. He said no. Actually, yeah, I just figured that Barsts would be more useful for this map because we... <laughs> Gee, I think, yeah, I think Barsts would be more useful on Gordon than any map. That's or not. In fact, true. In fact, I would be willing to wager that unpromoted Barsts is better than promoted Gordon. Probably, yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna dispute this. So we, what you, so we should reclass him to a hero. This is what you want to do. Yeah, because he becomes really fast, and I think he gets one more. Oh my! Point. Oh yeah, he's, he's a beast. Whoa! Whoa! Awesome. Uh, Max, I'm gonna give this guy three stars. <laughs> okay, this guy's really good. Holy shit! Oh, anyway, can you steal swords too? How oh, nice! Yep. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, not that they're useful in this map, but he can use two swords. So we got a energy drop to give away. It's gonna be it should be given to someone who can double. Um <laughs> Bars <laughs> <laughs> Really? Uh, I I don't know how close he is to one round killing enemies. Might be worth it. Maybe uh, Abel doesn't double, I don't think. Sita no. does double. Yeah, but Sita she might but be she good. but she kills everything with wing spare, doesn't she? <laughs> not everything. This is true. I mean um, I actually do yeah, she has twenty one speed, so you know this is actually not a bad idea. Alternatively, you could do no wait windows for the the other thing. Spirit yeah, dust. spirit dust. I think we're just gonna give to Merrick. Uh, I mean, he's really the that, only. That's also a possibility. Like Wendell doubles more often, I think, but maybe Merrick will surpass him at some point. He promotes. Yeah, I think so if he gets plus two on, on promotion, then he will surpass Wendell and speed it. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. Also, okay, we so have a, dust, but, Also, yeah. we have an arm scroll. Does anyone here need that? I mean, bursts maybe. No, that doesn't really. For what? Get S rank sa S rank axes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I don't I think know. The idea was to give it to Minerva so she could Rider's Bane. Ooh, that's a good but point. Your Rider's Bane is kind of low, so maybe not. Yeah, this is the true. The other option is if you ever want to reclass Sedgar to like a hero, then the Arm Scroll can get him on his way. Because if you reclass him to hero right now, you'll have like, I think it's like D swords and E axes or something. Yeah, which exactly. Is terrible. Yeah, this is a good point actually. 
Although I do, I must say, I do like the idea of just having him be a uh, be a general because I just really general all game long. I, I, I just guess. I just really enjoy the tankiness. Anyway, where the fuck is Sheeta? Sheeta, there you, there she is. Anyway, I'm gonna give her a uh, sword just in case. I don't really know why I'm giving her a sword. I'm gonna be. I like how she lost her A rank lances because she had those, right? I did. She's gonna get it back, right? Yeah, she will. Thank God. All right. I don't know why Minerva's carrying around Devil Axe, but oh, she can't use Javelin, can she? Oh no, no, never mind. She can. She should be able to. Yeah, she should be able to. She doesn't reset her lance ranking. Anyway, uh, all right. You don't need the Javelin and the Gotcha Shida. That's very. It's very greedy of you. Okay, I think we're starting well, to get... So you're just going to give Minerva two javelins instead? No, I get... I, she, she has the gotcha. Uh, but why does Minerva have two javelins? She does? Oh, she does. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, might as well give Sita multiple options or give to Medea or something. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do this. I think Abel has one. Uh, yeah, he does. All right. I think we're getting close to a... Uh, yep. Yeah, let's, let's go. Now to watch a ballista slaughter. Yeah, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing the slaughtering, to be fair. Oh, hi. Russ artillery! Our opponent is mighty! Nonetheless, we must face them head on. They stand between us and Altia. That hunger for danger worries me, Marth. Humanity's hopes rest on your shoulders. I would sooner not see them crushed. Which? Humanity's hopes? Or my shoulders? <laughs> That's a good line. I have a little faith, well, man. The dragon is such bad writing, it's so boring. Uh -huh. The enemy ballisticians can strike from afar, but they're powerless up close. All we need to do is move in and silence them before they do too much damage. Watch! <laughs> I fight for my friends. <laughs> he fights for his friends. Alright, here we are. Um, I have no fucking idea how to handle this. Yeah. Any, any advice? Don't check any ranges. Uh, yeah, so I think the best thing the best thing to do is probably just to move in. Like, one, uh, identify which one of them moves. Right, you think... And which one don't. You think... Don't they all just stand still? No. Some of them move off their own accord, pretty oh. sure. Oh, okay then. Well, I guess... I mean, we can send Shedgar in, because he never Go takes Shedgar. damage. You can always send Shedgar in. Yeah, this is true. And, um... Let's see. We'll so get Glenn back. <laughs> so we got the Stone Hoist and the Hoist Line. Like, Mart probably yeah, gets... Stone Hoist is really bad hits, so it's okay to, like, just wait for it to, to not hit you. Yeah, I think we'll just we'll just wait and see. Uh, Gordon, I'm, I predict that Gordon's going to do absolutely nothing this whole map. He's he's probably going to do nothing. Uh, Mars is going to be fine, I think. Yeah, he can of. he can probably go in and, and do some havoc with the slow right. Because he has like thirty. Actually, he's not that tanky. He lost you know, thirty six points. Fourteen defense is actually pretty good. Actually, come now that I think about it. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't even take damage. Boom. That was the arrow spade too. Yeah, yeah. Blah blah. I think Oh, it's a thief move. Oh, wow, they they don't seem to be moving at all, Mecha. Okay, never mind then. Good clear. Actually, I know some of them move to attack, but... Oh, Silver Axe gets... What do you think I should say more, Silver Axe or Hood Clear? Dude, Silver Axe is like infinitely inferior, right? So oh. just use it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Your animation is so goofy. <laughs> I know, I love it. It's great. It's stunting. <laughs> Alright, so I guess what we'll do then is we'll... Uh, Ostrom is here, isn't he? He's gonna have suicide yep. on Sudgar, isn't he? Uh, I mean, Sudgar doesn't double, because he's Sudgar. This is true. Oh, you should have given him a stronger weapon. Yeah, so exactly, that's what I'm thinking too. I would uh, go for the guy, not the Stonehoist. The Stonehoist is gonna miss you like 10 times out of 10, so... This is true, but I, I, I could just use the... Oh, that doesn't... You don't double that one? <laughs> what the fuck is your Sudgar? The guy is 7 speed? What the hell? Wow, this guy's fast, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> There's a healer on this map, does he have Physic? Um, I don't know. Think so? I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just. Gonna, you know, theoretically, what I could do is <laughs> I could just move in with Sudgar and just pick them all off with a bow. But the problem is, Mart, that village is gonna get destroyed. Um, I mean, you can kill him with Sudgar if he had a stronger weapon. Steve, I mean. This is true. Uh, how you can kill him with this plus Sudgar. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, if I can just actually, I should probably just get closer to to Glam back so I can. So I can, uh, if I can recruit I him. Want to be close to back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I've, I've solid, I've selected this guy. This guy with the stone hoist won't hit me anyway, so I don't really need to have him. I, c I can move like into everyone's range, but his or the, the other, the opposite of what I just. Or the meant. other way around. Yeah. The other way around. What I, I know what you meant. Just yeah, this once. Yeah. Just this once, I'm gonna give you it. Okay, thanks. So, um, and I think uh, uh, everyone's th in this lane is safe except for. Those who get one shot up by this thing, which is like yeah, but this uh, does like the, the dinosaur from Git Book, just like all my friends are dead. Gordon, Gordon's fine here. He's fine. Lena's not though. She's just gonna be sitting back with physics. That's what she's gonna yeah. be doing. And uh, eh. go, go, Jagan. Look at all these five-star units. Gotcha. 
you there. See, this defense is not that good. Uh, this is true, but if I can kill an, the other one with Jagan, then I think we should be fine. Uh, see that setting up a kill for Jagan. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, again, <laughs> Awakening Side Gen tutorial taught me this. <laughs> Where the fuck is George going? <laughs> into the is forest? he hiding from his badness? Hmm, care to see what steel the wooden cavalry is really made of? You mean, take this, take elephant. This. <laughs> he just shot an elephant at us. It did no damage. Yeah, you're right, she does actually not that offensive. What I'm actually worried about, did I place her in range with the other guys? Yes. I did, didn't I? Rip Jagan. Oh no. No! Oh. Ah. Fucked up. Surprise. Fucked up. No. Okay, well, let's try that again. That didn't go well. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Alright, so. What do we do? Do we just. Do we kill the ones in the middle first before we go in? Oh! Yeah, I think, um, as I said, move in with Setgar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't have a... Oh, shit, I don't have a... If I give him, like, a... Silver Lance. I don't think I have a Silver Lance here. Well, so Jagan I... has a one-use one. This is true. I can give... Yeah, I'll just give Sedgar a Silver Lance. Oh, you have a 14-use one. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, I'll just send Sedgar in. Yep. Um... Foop. Foop strategy. <laughs> this is... This is how we tend to... Tend to... Beat a this. new and original concept. <laughs> Sedgar emblem. Oh, I actually have a... Oh my god, I have a, the best idea for like a shitpost intro for this one. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Sedgar emblem. Everyone is Sedgar. Have you seen that scene in Superman where the guy with the minigun shoots at Superman and he just bounces off him? No. Oh, <laughs> but I, I, I'm getting an idea what the shitpost is. Click, Of course, the, the, the guys watching this video will already have seen it because it's in post-production, so it's kind of like a weird... Time warp, in, in a sense, but <laughs> still. Okay, we're all used yeah. to being time machines by all now. Right. So yeah, so we'll just do this, and Bars can take care of those guys, and uh, I guess everyone else will just wait. Set set Bars emblem. Oh wait, did I just place Mart? No, I didn't. Pretty sure Mart's gonna be fine, right? Maybe. Oh, never mind. Stone. Oh, what the? Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Wait a minute. That means I can go recruit him. Yeah, that means Medea will be in range. I, I, things. Though. I. Don't know if she is. Um, Should we arrange something? Yeah, there she is. All right, but the, the problem is that if I move her in, then I'm probably just gonna get killed unless I can lure. Silver Lancer, dude. Yeah, I can kill the Stonehouse guy. What if I? I can probably lure him into attacking someone else, can I? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so probably not Marth though. He gets doubled. I think Marth gets killed by by this guy. No, he doesn't. What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> is that nine damage? Huh? Oh, he gets weighed down. What a noob. Yeah, but that's the problem. Oh. If if he oh, he's using his worm slayer. What the hell? Yeah, if he swaps to his silver sword, that why did he swap to his worm slayer to begin with? Maybe he thought Sedgar was a dragon. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Guys love. I don't know. Must be a dragon. Maybe Aster Maybe we can force him to attack his lover. I don't know. Um, uh, that might be some thing he won't do. Then he will go for Sedgar and die. Uh, twelve plus eight. Will he? Will he will kill Jake in a single? No, he won't. <laughs> Even with Jake the... is gonna face an enemy. Yeah. So 22. so he does twenty damage in total. That gets reduced to eight. So yeah, Jake actually, Jake actually survives. <laughs> I you, like it. Would you look at that? Oh wait a minute. Is is he in range of? Never mind. No. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Jake is a good unit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's, that's actually the first time I've ever seen like a ballistician be like be good in the tanking department. That's hilarious. Uh, you're attacking ballisticians right now. Yeah. Are refusing to die. Well, you know, on the on the player side, I mean. Yeah, I know. No, I mean, it's not too often that a ballistician sees sees combat to begin with in the series. So. Look at that! I don't well, crit. Don't crit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come, <Jeez, Marth. laughs> Come on! <laughs> what? <laughs> Marth got doubled. Come on! Right in purpose. front of Medea too. That was a purpose. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so well played. Okay, but we have a strategy right now. We have it. Yeah, but we need a good one. We need one that actually finishes the map. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Anyway. 
Set guard is getting there. It's <laughs> everyone else, that's the problem. <laughs> you have to quickly bow with set guard if you could put, kind of put him in range of. Uh, that that that's the that's what that's what I'm planning to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna equip a bow. But however, I still I still believe in in pulling Sedgar over here though. I mean, sorry, uh, Astrum over here. I still think that is probably the best course of action. He's he's not gonna crit the same. He's not gonna crit twice in a row, right? 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 Just try if he attacks Media. Yeah, that would be funny. I think th there's no reason why I why you wouldn't attack Media. Yeah, I think. I mean, why, why would you attack your lava? I I why don't do know. You, maybe I, maybe I know, there's some. I know Matt. Attacks Lina, so he probably attacks Medea too. Maybe maybe there's some domestic abuse in the relationship. I don't know. You know, maybe Medea maybe Medea needs to call like a hotline for 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 I don't know for abuse. I don't know. But I, I, let's just oh, see. This joke is really going places. <laughs> I was trying to make a joke, and then I realized it was just sad. Wait, there is no joke. <laughs> it's like, no what? It's like oh, no. he, he, he hits his girlfriend. I was like, no, that's just sad. Oh well. We'll just put it, we'll just put it in the uh, on the shelf with jokes that never went anywhere. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, hopefully, a joke that hopefully will will go somewhere though is or that hopefully won't repeat itself. Okay, there we go. There we it go. Di it didn't repeat itself. Thank God. Oh, I like you. <laughs> Shut up. All right. So, um, let's go talk to him. Uh, why didn't you have Jake have his revenge on him? Oh, hello, my lover. Media! Media, my sweet! Can it really be you? I feared you were dead! Oh, Astrum, how could you not have heard? Arcanea is free! The Altain army came and liberated the palace along with all the hostages within. Now we can fight as one! Come with us, Astrum. You needn't to dance to Dole's fiddle any longer. I have a mind to break their fiddle for all the evils they have wrought. Now you can! We can take them on together! That we can. Media, I'm sorry I left you alone. I will not make that mistake again. No, you certainly won't. Now that I have your back, you'll find me exceedingly reduc reluctant to let you go. Reductant. Reductant. Ooh, yes, I can see that. Just take care you don't crush me instead of door. <laughs> All right. But Dia's not crushing anything with a seven strength of hers. That's true. Well, not that Astrum's much better. So, yeah, enter, <laughs> enter Astrum. Um, Astrum's uh, first pre promoter hero you get. Um, he's all right. I mean, his stats are, like, decent. Like, if you're playing on a very low difficulty, his stats will pretty much carry him through the game. He'll double most things. His strength is a little bit iffy, but he does have a 50% strength growth to make up for it if you actually want to use him for the long term. His growth rates are actually pretty good for a pre-promoted unit, but a little bit higher than some of the other pre-promoted units you get. Um, I think he's a perfectly serviceable unit. He's definitely better in the next game, though. But I rate Astrum 3 out of 5 stars. There's not really that much to say about him. He's just an overall really decent hero. It's gonna be tricky to find a find a slot for him in Hard 5 though. But I still even I think that even if you were forced to use him in Hard 5, you could probably make him do something. At least he can use the Worm Slayer. So that's something. So yeah, I don't I don't really know what else to say about Astrum. Yeah, he's in a pretty good class with good basis hero, which makes him fast enough not to get doubled and even double some enemies. And he has a B in swords, which is nice. Uh, I wish he had like a slightly better axe rank so he could use the hammer, but that's just all there is to it, I guess. Mm. Uh, the low strength kind of sucks for carrying axes, so even if you could use the hammer, you would get weighed down a ton. Which for the hammer is like okay, but like for a halberd or a pole axe or whatever you want to call it, it kind of sucks. Um, uh, the thing about Characters in this game in general, it's not just Astrum, we have very low base HP, so Astrum is actually kind of frail. Mm. And later on, Brave Weapon show up, and I think he can't really escape getting bombed out by those. So at that point, you probably have to ditch Astrum, but before that, he's okay, I guess. I don't think he's too great. Like At this point, most casual players will have an army full of good units, and it will be hard to find a slot for him, as you said. Uh, so for those players, I don't think Astrum is worth much, but if you haven't raised that many units, then Astrum is an okay filler. So 3 out of 5 seems fair. Yeah. All right, so uh, right now I think what we will do is we actually I think we actually just need to kill the thieves with Setgar. Kill Setgar. Kill, kill the thieves with Setgar so they don't kill the the village. Sure. Oh, right, hey, right, well. That's that's, that's use that's use that. That's very useful. Yep. He can't use that. That's very true. But 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 we other units can. We might. I, you know what? Maybe we should forge another Rider Spain now that I think about it. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. You know, these uh, units will just sit back. So they're not gonna do anything. <laughs> We're not gonna do anything. <laughs> this is how we're gonna tackle the map. <laughs> Literally just using Sedgar. Because I have no fucking patience for this bullshit. It's funny how the how the least patient option is using a general turn. <laughs> yeah, I mean why I mean if I if I send in any other units, I'm gonna have to do math. So Pro strats. Oh he, he crit. Crit. He crit. <laughs> I mean Time to raise that bow rank. To be fair, oh nice. Cap defense. defense. I think that's yeah. enough. 
So what I'm gonna do now, I mean, I'm just gonna take down the Ballisticians in the middle, and then I can probably send in... Then maybe it's safe for my other units to move again. I, I, th I think so, I mean... I mean, there's three in the middle, I remember we should just send, send Gardan to kill them too, I don't know. <laughs> I don't Why know. the fuck not? <laughs> 15 minutes later. <laughs> Anyway, let's go. Uh, let's go get this. Wait, why can't Marth? Oh, it's, it's a hill. Oh, Custom oh, movement. it's it's not it's not a hill. It's a letke. Oh, ledge. Le letke. It's called letke. I wish you would go up that ledge, my friend. So, um, right. Yeah. I'll, I honestly. Oh wait, 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 wait a minute. There's an ar there's an armory. We should we should visit that armory. I don't know what's in it though. Um. Oh, I'm about to find out. So I think what I'm looking like, by putting a guy in range of ballistas. I didn't put anyone in range of ballistas. But you're gonna have to if you want the armory. Not if I kill them all with Sedgar. Okay, so you're gonna stop moving after this, I guess. No, okay. I'm gonna just send all my paladins to kill the guys in the south. But I can't oh, do that okay. as long as the middle ones live because the middle ones are gonna pick me off. I so. See. So I'm just literally just gonna kill these guys with Sedgar, and then I'm going to move my paladins down whenever it's safe. Literally target practice. <laughs> literally target practice. Prince Marth, I presume. The name is Glenn Beck. I fought in the Battle of Castle Deal. After my shameful defeat there, I see, see, I took refuge in this village. And when I heard that your army was marching this way, I read in my ballista, hoping for another t taste of battle. So how about it, Princey? Take me along. I'm packing thunderbolts, see? The enemy ballisticians will never know what hit him. Other than that one guy who does use thunderbolts and knows what it is. Yeah, he probably will, will know what hit him. So yeah, yeah. Uh, enter Beck. Uh, he's basically the same unit as Drake. Uh, if you, if you want to know the difference between them, um, then Beck has slightly more speed, but less skill. Uh, he's also a little bit more tanky than Jake. He has a bit more hit points on defense, but it's so small, it's not really noticeable. Um, at the end of the day, though, it doesn't really matter. It's just he's good because of his weapons. So I, we rated Jake five stars. So I think it's safe to rate Beck five stars as well. He does come with a Thunderbolt, which is really good, but you can just trade this over to Jake. Um, there's some use in this. You can forge it to one-shot ballistas, which I think we might do, because there's some uh, ballistas in the late game that, that are kind of nasty, so it's nice to be able to take them out. Uh, so yeah, you got anything to say about Beck? Yeah, great artillery unit, five stars easily. Thunderbolt is nice because it doesn't cost too much to forge, so it's pretty easy to get it to take out ballisticians without spending a lot of money on it. I mean, that's not really something Jake gets all the credit for, or Beck gets all the credit for, they like share it, so I think that makes both of them a lot better. Mm -hmm. And they're already really good. Yep, that, that's about it. It's not much to say, really, because we already talked about, about Jake. Um, yeah. All right, so, okay, I'm lining up my Paladin squad. Look at all these Paladins, my guy. It's like we're playing Fire Emblem 6. It's great. All the Paladins. <laughs> all of them. All the Falcon Knights, you mean. Oh, shit. There's, <laughs> and, and, and I'm actually... I'm, uh, there's a Paladin that I forgot about up here as well, so that's kind of funny. All right, there we go. Um, cool. Just one more Paladin left. And we... You're going to run out of elephants at this rate. <laughs> all right, there we go. Let's go. You think all of these guys can kill him? Uh, doubtful. <laughs> but you went in anyway, so I guess we're stuck. <laughs> all right. Um, you killed two, maybe? Because you're in the, eye, in the Eye of the Storm for some part. I don't know which one of these moves, but gotcha. apparently the chip damage was just enough, so gotcha. I think, I think we're... That was the strongest one, the hoist one. Think. Yeah, and actually, Stone Hoist has like shit accuracy, so. Yeah, but it could still kill Minerva, unless I do something about it. I can't crit? No. Crit. Yeah. Oops. Um. Hopefully, we'll be fine. <laughs> is there a save point? There is a save there point. There is. So I can nice. I can like RNG abuse or something. This is. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Bang's Pro Strats. <laughs> really, really glad you could make it. Uh, I also want to visit the houses, because I remember some of these houses being pretty funny. Also, I can use... Oh, that's right. Beck can't move over ledges, can he? He's kind of stuck here. I just remember this. This is so dumb. Uh, like you get... I mean, he's meant to be there to kill the ballisticians that you use Sethgar for. I know, but it's so silly that he's like, how did he get up I there? It's clever design. How, how did he get up there in the first place, if he's on the ledge? I mean, he built a ballista in the village, probably. Uh, or he took it apart and uh, he rebuilt it. That's true. Ah, I didn't think about that, actually. That's, that's kind of smart. Anyway, um... I see Minerva still being a 5-star unit. She's... she's still... well, to we be fair... We should get some help from George. Maybe together they can kill this one weakened enemy. That... George not in range, sadly. No. But if he was... If he was a 5-star unit, he would be in range. But if he was, he'd be really good. Let's train Sheeta's sword rank. This is really important. Oh. Very, very important. This is... 
She can recla Did you notice that can reclass the Sword Master and then use the Worm Slayer at base? She can? Really? Yeah. So well, I mean, not at base, but like after promoting. Huh, interesting. I didn't know. Yeah, let's go visit this house. But as distance are really only vulnerable to one type of magic, or to one type of weapon, the, the Thunderbolt. Or you know. Fresh out of Thunderbolts? Then you'll just have to dart in and hit them at close range. Yeah, okay, we're, we're, this, out, we're out of... This I didn't know. We're just out of Thunderbolts at this point. Don't don't have any left. So yeah, um, I think it's official. I'm just going to, to, to beat this map with, with, <laughs> with Zedgar. <laughs> this, this map is stupid. I don't like it. <laughs> forces I, mean, I can't deal this is mad. <laughs> this forces me to think. To be fair, Donnan's way of beating this map was kind of dumb too. We just forced uh, Levin Sword and crit the boss. That was actually kind of funny. We and our countrymen wanted to fight for Arcanae, I know. Not just us either, or ju not just us neither. They say some of Gris' soldiers would sooner rally under Arcanae's banner than Dole's. But General Camus conquered us before we could act, and Grust had us under their thumb ever since. Here's hoping you win this battle quick. We we'll like being free, you know. Don't you know? <laughs> Oh, oops. why is that so funny? That's sad. It's a sad story. I think it's just charming dialogue. Like, we like being free, don't you know? I don't know. It's tragic. Like free world. I mean, isn't that like what is the rule about comedy? It's like tragedy plus timing or something. I don't know. Someone made a formula about this one. Well, what do you know about comedy? I know a lot. Uh, you don't even know what what makes for comedy. Oh, buyers, viable silver lances, really? That's pretty good. Yeah, you can buy like two. I think I'm gonna buy two. Because silver lances are really good. Too bad we don't got any job. Is there any other shops around here? Let's see. You get, I, I think I mapped out before that you had like a shop every chapter from now on, pretty much. Yeah, something it's along those lines. Probably Japanese at some point soon. Something along those lines. So what? You kill the healer first. <laughs> uh, yeah, but what I'm going to do is... I'm, I, I don't think the healer can reach, so it's fine. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to kill the, this guy. And then I am going to just wait until the other guy's dead, and then I'm going to move Marth in, and then I'm going to train Marth on the boss. Because we're already, <laughs> cause we're already playing this. This is the boss want to kill Marth. Uh, he doesn't. He can't attack in melee, dude. No, but like to get there. Oh right, really? Does he one shot? Th oh my god, thirty-three. Yeah, elephants are heavy, dude. <laughs> You're no joke. All right. Uh, holy shit. All right, I guess. So you can kill the boss and train Marth on the healer if you want. Mm, yeah, I guess that's <laughs> I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> we are already, already all in on Scepter anyway. <laughs> is... What are you gonna do when he hits twenty? Are you gonna say like, oh my god, he wastes EXP? Uh, I don't know. Oh my god, I can't kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill the healer. With it appears we have a Mexican standoff. <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill the healer with Scepter now. Actually, if I if I kill the healer, can I get within his uh, minimum range with Marth? No, I cannot. Oh well. Alright! You can get a paladin in there and then chip him down with like three people standing around him. Because Setgar alone is like not negating enough damage. Or not doing enough damage to negate his healing. Unless you use silk plants, I guess. Unless he crits. You just crit. <laughs> <laughs> you just crit. Nigga! So the prince can fight with your victories are numbered. Prince can fight for shit. <laughs> General Canvas and his Sable Sable Orges will be be a body rabble very soon. And you're rabble, gonna, rabble, rabble. And you will rabble. die on the lance of the greatest warrior alive. Barst. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck just happened? Sidegar just moved in and murdered the entire wooden cavalry. Alright, well, this is officially probably the dumbest chapter of this LP. I don't know, it's kind of a tough competition in that regard, but. <laughs> Spectacular! <laughs> 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 Spectacularly done, Marth. That's okay, some... fine, 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 fine. Spectacularly done, Marth. There you go. There you have it. There you have it. A voice clip. Does Enjoy anyone... it while it lasts. Does that something ail you? I thought you would be happier. Set correct on all the XP. <laughs> Today there was a commoner. She mentioned Gross was divided about the war. Some of... She did. Do you think he would say this if he didn't visit the house? I think so. Some of his people wanted to fight with Altia, she said. Ever since I lost my father and kingdom, I've held nothing but hate in my heart for Grand Grust. But not once did I give any thought to what must be done going through their heads. Thanks, IRL. And <laughs> now you find your hate for them has been lessened? No, the hate remains. I will never forget the pain they inflicted upon me, the rage I felt. Yet now at least I can tell you it's not just hate, not anymore. Not all evils are wrought for evil purposes. Perhaps this sounds naive, but... A true leader needs to look at his opponent and see more than just an enemy. Da 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 da. Thanks. Alright. 
<laughs> so yeah, well, that was great. Give a give a Sudgar and a Sudgar to this video. Sudgar <laughs> on a Sudgar with Sudgar. Sudgar is. <laughs> Sudgar. <laughs> one of Sudgar is one prayer. What did, did we did we rate him like four stars? This is silly. <laughs> I mean, I said for casuals, it's like five stars, right? Can you imagine, like, George has higher star rating than Sudgar? Man, George, mm -hmm. George must be really good. <laughs> Except, especially this episode. <laughs> especially this episode. All right, uh, what should they do? Up Sudgar and Sudgar? Yeah, Sudgar. All right, Sudgar.